Is this electric lawnmower gonna actually work? Find out next on Now You Know. All right, so we're here in the workshop with Mr. G. Hey, how you doing? My shop teacher, my personal shop teacher for this week. <laughs> this is such an exciting project. So we're thinking we want to be converting everything to electric in the future. We're talking go-karts, uh, cars, yep. trucks, monster trucks, uh, yeah, what, I mean, spaceships. The processing power of an electric motor to deliver energy to whatever you're gonna rotate mm -hmm. is so much better. Yes. Yeah, it's more efficient. But we decided we'd, we're gonna start small. We're not gonna start with a monster truck, anything we, you know, we wouldn't be able to finish. So we wanna right. start small. We're starting with this. Everyone's seen one of these. This is a, this is a mower, yep. gas mower. You know, it's got, the, it's got the gas tank. Yep. It's got the engine mm -hmm. and all the fiddly bits associated with it. Yeah, what's cool is that uh, literally this is the unit. Yep. Like, this is it right here. And then you now you take that off and you have nothing, man. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so what's the first step here? What are we, we're gonna, we're gonna just yeah. throw well, that away, right? Before we throw this away. Okay. Okay, and, and I'm a big fan of electric cars, but I, where I got my start was in gasoline engines. When I was a kid, there was one of these stuck in the yard and it was broken and I took it apart and I learned how to fix it. And what it does is this converts energy into rotational motion. And that's what we're doing with the electric motor anyway. But it's fundamental. Basically, it's the same thing. When you use electric energy, you're using energy that was created by the sun because maybe it was from a power plant or maybe it was from a wind, right? But the sun is the one creating the energy first. What about, okay, but like, yeah. what about coal? What about gasoline? That's not solar powered. Yeah, it is actually. It's just trapped solar power, right? So, so the sun comes down, the trees are actually absorbing the sunlight and they're taking the carbon and they're breaking apart the water and they're taking the hydrogen. So they're taking hydrogen and taking the carbon, they make a hydrocarbon. Then we call that fuel. And that's what, that's what trees are made out of. That's yep. why you can burn trees. Right. Similar to how you can burn coal. So, exactly. so see, the, see the oil and the coal is just old plants. That have, been that have been stuck in the ground. Squished together and, and changed. Yes. But you still have those hydrocarbons that were made, per, you know, the thousands carbon, and millions of years ago. When they say they're ago. releasing carbon, it's they literally doing that. You're locked up like this. So right. think about a fire is the opposite of what the plants are doing. The plants are taking the sunlight in and the fire is releasing it. So when you add fuel to a gasoline engine, what you're doing is you've got a fire. It's called an internal combustion engine. And they have a fire, and this is basically like a, like a pump. Mm -hmm. The fuel goes in, they mix it with air, and then you have a spark plug, and then it pushes a piston the same way you push on a bicycle. So it explodes, and that's what's powering the engine. Yeah, you, okay. you basically have a fire. All right. So You're on fire. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, and, and the important thing to keep in mind in the, in the grand scheme of things here yeah. is that when the, uh, when the oil and the coal was being made, yeah. there was much more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That's right. Right? And that's why we had dinosaurs back then, and we had giant you know, dragonflies. It was a completely different world, unrecognizable practically to the one we're living. Well, I was there. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know how to yeah. run one of these things. All right. Yeah. So let's take a history lesson. Let's pull this thing apart, see how it works. Just yeah. So that way we can have a better appreciation for when we replace this with an electric motor. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you got to know where the beginnings are. And, yep. and, and, and the reason why this is not as efficient as an electric motor is because 80% of this is heat loss. If you go to your car and you put your hand on the hood and it's hot, right what's happening is that you're actually feeling that heat so when someone pays a dollar at the tank you know at the gas tank you're actually paying 80 cents of that is going to heat all right so we're going to take the head off of this uh gas engine so we can learn how it works yeah Let's see, what do we have in here? So wait, what's right. this guy? That, okay, that creates a seal. Okay. It's called a gasket. What's it made out of? It's, uh, that one's like a little bit of a, a, a steel and like a, like, a, like a cork foam or something, you know, like uh, a- Like a little yeah. sandwich. Yeah, a little, a little metal sandwich. And, metal and cork sandwich. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. Okay, so now in here, we've, right. got, we've got these two guys. Yep. So what's cool is that we can still use- Oh, wow. And yeah. look at everything moving here. Right. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so there's a process to this, right? Yeah. So when you sit down to eat something, 
right? You sit down at the table, yeah. you open your mouth, ah, uh, right? Uh -huh. The first thing you do is open your mouth and eat the food. Now this has suction, yep. uh, I should say that when it's connected, we can actually prove it. Let's okay. prove that first. Okay. Put your hand like that okay. and make, make a thing, right? Whoa! Was that cool? <laughs> it sucked my hand right onto it. Wow. Are you okay? okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's cool. That's amazing. Hold on, I want to do it. Oh! <laughs> it's so weird! All right, so the first step in the process okay. is you're sucking in the fuel, right? Yeah, so you got to first eat the fuel. So now, that goes in. But, so now, just so you know, it when someone buys, this is a missed thing. P people buy gasoline, they're, they're buying the liquid. Yeah. That's not, you need vapor. Right. Right, so when it comes in there, it there's something here called a carburetor. Just think hairspray. Just psh, okay. it's spraying the fuel psh, in a vapor. Gotcha. Okay, so the first thing, go ahead. Yeah, you were asking right, a question. All right, so, so the, you're opening your mouth, right. putting the food in. All right, so now psh, it, this is full of vapory fuel yes. with, mixed with air. So that's, they call it the four stroke process. Okay. That's process one. So that's stroke one. Stroke one, Okay, right? so nothing Down. has happened. It's, it's actually to put in work. To we, suck in this it fuel It takes mixture. work and there's a there's a flywheel here and that's why you need a starter, an electric motor to start it or it your hand. it doesn't want to start on it's its own. It's not going to do it by All itself. Right. So, okay, so that's the first step yes. in the process. What's the next step? Okay, next thing is we close the valves. Okay. And we pressurize it. Okay, so this is compression. Okay, so, right? the, so that comes up like this. Whoop. Wow, all the way to the top. Yeah. So it's everything in here. So so is all that was there is now is out is, into that little <laughs> tiny space. Wow. And then Okay, now what's next? And that's called the compression ratio, the amount that you've crushed it. Okay, so the more pressure we have in here, the, the more- The more it's gonna bang. Okay, gotcha, yeah. all okay. right. But it had to put in work to compress it. That's right. Okay, more all right. work. That's so far we haven't we haven't produced. So far any, we're, we're we're negative we're hemorrhaging energy. Yes. Here. Okay. Yes. W what's the next step? Okay. The next step is the spark plug. Right here. Just like the lighter on your stove. Click 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 click. What it does is then lights that on fire. Okay. And then bam boom this down is the stroke, big payoff right now you might be thinking how is it that this thing goes into something roundy it's yeah. just like a bicycle so it goes it goes like this so it, and we can open this and up we and we don't see, see it. this right now but we there's could, a piston in we there we could see it now yeah okay yeah let's see it now oh okay great now it's kind of hard to see because he, this is blocking but this operates the valves interesting so if okay. i take this out we can't operate the valves okay so this is the uh what's this the this, explosion step what are we on so we're on step three which is some people call it the power stroke but basically combustion that's okay. when it explodes so, pushes it down and so one thing to keep in mind here is you might be wondering okay this is up and down motion how do we get circular motion how do we get roundy roundy right. motion is the technical term yeah so that's where the crankshaft comes in here yeah right and so this is a simple one there's only one piston on this that's right this is just a single cylinder but basically you have something that's right. uh offset from this so it's not like this right no what would happen if if you exploded it with this it would just go nothing bang yeah right? and it would be broken right okay so it's offset so as it turns that's right it's offset like like a like the crank on a bicycle yes so it's like a pedal yeah and so this is this is an exploding pedal and that's why this goes up and down and we get a roundy roundy stroke is exactly the term. and then i should point out you see these things these rings right yeah. here so these keep the pressure so if you ever looked at a syringe a syringe has like an o-ring yes right but instead we use metal and it's expanding and so that's yeah. what sucked my hand down is yes. this suction okay so okay so, so and we've exploded yeah. it and now, when so now I, this yeah. is where all the power comes in yeah that was so there's four strokes yes this one stroke is where all the power comes in. That's right. Okay. So that's then, all you get on the third stroke. You just get one shot. Wow. It's like, and think of it like a cannon, like it's a bullet. So we loaded it up and it's we lit it on fire. Boom. We shot the bullet, yeah. but the bullet, instead of it exiting, it went around a crank and, and it's it coming back. 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 Okay. <laughs> now, why does it come back? Because what happens after you light a fire? There's smoke. Right. Okay. So then what's, what's next Last here? one is the exhaust intake. Fuel. Compression. compression, explosion, and now exhaust. So, right. now, so now all of that stuff yep. is now exiting and it's now exited. So now there's nothing really in. That's right, we're at the beginning. Okay, so and now And this what? happens really fast. Even if the engine was clear, you would not be able to see it, it would look like a blur. So first, <laughs> fuel and air is coming into the chamber. We're sucking it in, Yep. lots of work, and then coming back around compression yeah we're doing a lot of uh, squeezing so first yep. we did suction now we're doing compression right 
Now, explosion. Yep. This yeah. is where we get all the power. Yep. And then, what is this? Exhaust. Exhaust. It's, it's we're pushing it out. Another yes. pushing step. Right. And then we're right back to the suction. So exactly. it's suck, push, explosion, yeah. push. Yeah. So three out of the four strokes, we're, we're doing work and not getting anything back. That's exactly right. It's only one per four up and down. And the whole time, like, you might be saying like, so what? You're doing all this work. Well, we don't even have, we're not even doing any suction because right now the head's off. Mm -hmm. And when I pull this, yeah. it doesn't go, it doesn't keep going. There's resistance. There's lots and lots of friction. Where is all this friction coming from? The friction is coming from every part of this engine. So everything that's moving yes. is friction. So there's there's yeah. gear teeth right here. There's friction there. Right. There's friction around the entire surface of this. That's the right. The cams are doing friction. There's friction in between the crankshaft and here. I know where you're going with this. Every moving part. Every single moving part yeah. is wasting energy due to friction. That's right. And at the end, at the same time, we're doing this process where we are exploding fuel. Yep. And we're getting some energy out of it in, in terms of this rotational energy. Yeah. But a lot of it is just making fire, which is hot. Right. And like, that's why if you see these, these ribs right here, yeah. right? What it's doing is this is a lot of surface area. It went, and that's why it's not slab side. And it's just to cool off the It's just to cool it off. Exactly. And, and this this cooling, this heat that we're generating is not making you mow any better. Useless. It's not, it's not helping. We're just all. heating the air outside. We're just warming stuff up and expelling. And we're, and we're paying for that. Exhaust. So that is where a lot of the inefficiency comes from in an internal combustion engine. Close to 80% of that. So yeah. most of it is going to heat, friction, sound. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, if you, you know, someone's like, oh, but you know, I want to hear that sound. Okay, you want to make noise or you want to go faster? Right. So all of these different things, all of the things about an internal combustion engine, only 20%, only this one stroke, only this one right here, boom, yep. that's it. That's all the energy. Yep. And everything else is just to service that. Exactly. Right. In the next episode, we're going to be converting this mower to electric, but not in the way you might expect. Be sure to subscribe to be notified when the next episode comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know.